Okay, so I mentioned using Wine to run Windows apps in Pi News 28, and uh, I actually installed this ice cream uh, image resizer. I've got a load of downloads of various different things, old and new, just a few things to try. Uh, I haven't really researched whether they'll work or not, but I thought it'd just be interesting to go through it and see what works with it. I've had some great comments from people. Uh, so Mark Evs is using tag and rename under Wine. Brandon Marbach has got Photoshop CS6 and CS5 working on Twister. Timothy Henderson has had Roots Magic working, which is genealogy software. He says, much like Gramps Linux, but better. And Kai Nikolainen runs PokerStars client on Wine. So let's have a look. Let's launch Wine. You can see here, Wine Desktop. Here we are. So if I go down to the bottom and hit Start, I've got programs here now, so that ice cream image resizer actually comes up here. Uh, but if I go to control panel, add remove programs, and install. And if you can change it on here, so installation programs. So if I go back, uh, because this is on my desktop now, so Windows 10 downloads is the folder I've created. So let's try Abbey Word at the top here. There you go, please select a language. So just like a, a, win, a normal Windows install. And all this looks pretty standard. I'll just say next to that and next. I'm not worried about shortcuts being on there, so I'll leave that. So that's all completed, so let's hit next. So I can do run Abbey Word uh, if it's checked, so let's just hit finish and see if it launches it on its own. There you go, just looks completely normal, doesn't it? I don't think this had a spell check when I checked before. Yeah, annotations, hyperlink, font. So you can see here, I can scroll up and down with the trackpad. Uh, I can start typing in here. Uh, I can do things like change. And it does it does feel like it's like it's native on it. It doesn't it doesn't feel like it's running slow. Uh, I mean it is only a word processor. But, uh, but yeah, it does seem to be pretty decent. Let's see if I can insert a picture. So the My Documents looks obviously in a documents within Wine, but if I go back, so if I go to My Computer, let's try Z, uh, Home, Pi. Yeah, so you can use things from your system as well. Uh, is it Documents or Pictures I've got? An image in there, yeah, bubbles. So let's insert that, and you can see perfectly, perfectly usable. So, I mean, obviously, I'm not going to go into great depth on trying out the program to see if there are any flaws or anything, but from what I can see from that, it looks pretty decent. So, how do I close that? I guess I just close that down in the normal way, I don't need to save that. So, let's try something else, Evernote. Similar sort of program, but we'll see what it does. So verifying installer. I probably can close this when it's doing that, just, just so it looks neater. Yep, so it's working so far, except the license. Next. Anyone who uses this computer. And it's all installing pretty quick, so I'm using my Kingston SSD drive on this build of Twister. Uh, SSD drives are definitely worth uh, using on the Pi. I I need to do a speed test between SD card and SSD just a side by side running two operating systems the same just to see how that goes. So I've got an Evernote thing up here so it looks like it's installed I didn't read any message so programs yeah so Evernote is here look. So I might have had the first thing that's not worked uh, without any alteration. Now there is all sorts of options in here uh, so you've got program manager Task Manager, Wine Tricks, uh, and so work around problems and install applications under Wine. So there's obviously more configuration that you can do. I'm just seeing things that are going to work straight off. Uh, and as you can see, Evernote didn't seem to. So let's open up Wine again and uh, let's delete that. So start. So add remove programs. So let's go Evernote and remove. I 
Are you sure? Okay. This is very good. I'm, I must try this on my, um, I've got an M1 Mac, uh, so it uses an ARM processor. And uh, I must try Wine on that and see how well it works. Doesn't look like it's uninstalled that. Modify, remove. Unable to execute the installer. Yes. Ah, oh, there you go. So that's got rid of that. Okay, so let's try some more. I've got some old stuff in here as well as uh, things I've newly downloaded. So something like this, which is PaintShop Pro. This is an old program from 2000. Yeah, so uh, we'll see what happens when I try and install that. So start. So I won't show all the process, but I'm using pretty much the same process as normal. Oh, so look, installation programs it doesn't come up as. But if I try exe files, yeah, here it is, look, PaintShop Pro. Double click on that. Oh yeah, it's doing it. Everything looks normal. There was a bit of a long pause, which I'll have cut out. And I remember installing this into old Windows laptops at the time, and it used to take ages. Be interesting to see how fast it, it launches as well. Okay, so if I go down to start, programs, JSC software, PaintShop Pro 7. I used to use this, oh, and that started almost instantly. That's amazing. So, okay. Close that down. So again, if I go back on here, ah, here we go. Let's put this same one in. Yeah, so it actually runs really well. It actually runs fast. So let's try some of the uh, effects. Let's just go with that. Oh, it's just put the edge on. Enhance, automatic, contrast. Yeah, and all the effects. And I mean, I know this is a really old program, but uh, it still does a load of decent things in it. Let's go for something random like kaleidoscope. Yeah, <laughs> I quite like that. Uh, right, so let's close that down because that seems to be working perfectly. And let's try an old game as well. So I've got Light Cycle here, uh, which is uh, an old Windows game, but again, very, very old. Uh, there you go, that's in the folder here. So that, yeah, that looks like it's just an exe file. So let's go to Start, Control Panel. Add remove programs, install. There's light cycle, the folder. But it doesn't show up the exe unless I get it exe. And there it is. Is it going to work? Oh, you can see things changing over there. Oh, yeah, looks like it's launched all right. That it's just normal, normal keyboard. Oh, it's not. <laughs> so it's not cursors. Q does something. Oh, Q does up and down. Oh, it looks like I paused it. Wish I knew. Oh, so Y is turn. I can't keep turning the same way. Uh, but actually, I think you can see by that that it looks like speed wise it's looking fine. Oh, and the mouse control uh, works for look as well. Yeah, that's. I'm surprised that works as well as it does. And just installed without me doing anything extra. So let's go out of that and back to here. So now if we go to start, is it showing up? So it doesn't show up there because it's not installed, I guess. So you would have to launch it in the same way by uh, selecting exe files. Let's try something really old as well. So this is Show Shifter, which was like an old uh, media center piece of software. And this came free on a magazine. I've shown it in another video. I actually had the, the DVD, probably my uh, Compaq, uh, my 1998 laptop, uh, I would imagine I did it in that video. Your system does not meet the following minimum requirements, Windows 98, 2000, ME or XP. Oh, okay, fair enough. Um, there probably is something I can do to install that. It's not something I want to install. Oh, okay, it looks like it's going to let me do it anyway. Let's agree. Checking for updates. This will be interesting if it finds an update. 
Congratulations, I have the latest version. Oh, you've got to restart, have you? I wonder how that works for this. So what happens if I press restart now? Let's see what happens. Is it just going to restart wine? Yeah, I think maybe it did, and you can see. I don't recognise that icon, but uh, oh, something's happening. Oh, it's launched a page, look. No way. Like a really old page. Docs, read me. Okay, well, I, well, hopefully I don't need that. Community needs to re-reboot before you can run. Would you like to reboot? Yes. So it has closed wine. Does it start up again? It doesn't look like it's going to start up again. Maybe it will. No, it usually starts up quicker than that. So, recently used wine. We seem to get a different looking icon every time it restarts. I can try it in safe mode. I'm not worried if this works or not. It is just for interest. Um, and uh, again, if, if something didn't work, obviously you would go through documents and go through forums and see if there was a way to get it work. I can't think of any of these that I particularly, I mean, maybe some of the games. To be fair, that uh, light cycle game is really good. So control panel, uh, program, show shifter. Let's go for safe mode. Okay, so whatever you do, uh, it just seems to close wine. Uh, the HDR PVR2, I'm going to use for something else. I was going to use that in uh, probably with Windows 10 because I'm realizing that drivers are probably going to be an issue. So the uh, that's a Halpage uh, game capture device, and I don't think it's going to work with this, uh, so I'm going to leave that. Movie Maker 2, though, maybe. But what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to try and install them now because this obviously you've seen the process of how I... Uh, I'm just trying a basic install or launching an .exe file. So I'm just going to basically try and install all of the rest of these and then see if they work. Okay, so I played around with Wine some more uh, using the methods I was using before. Uh, most of the other things I had didn't work. Um, so Movie Maker said uh, it was the wrong version of Windows. It is very old and I did, I did expect that. Paint.net didn't work. I don't know why. Uh, Ping Pong 3D came up with an installer error but again that was that's super old that's like 20 odd years old that I'd burnt it onto a disc so uh, you know it's uh, I'm sure there'd be a newer version that may work sticky notes didn't work and I wondered if that was because of the way the desktop is dealt with with wine uh, because you don't get the desktop icons and I think sticky notes you have to enable on the desktop down in the in the little system tray also, OBS didn't work. It said it required 64-bit Windows. I think there probably is a 32-bit download I could have used, um, but uh, the 64-bit one is the one that I downloaded. Okay, so pretty amazing, really, uh, what Wine can do within Linux. Um, I'm really impressed with some of the things I've had running, and it is actually pretty simple to use. And I haven't even tried to use any of these extra configuration options in here. I've literally just tried it uh, because I wasn't really desperately wanting any of these programs to work but I could see that if you had a program that you really wanted to get working you would spend a bit more time do a bit more research but this was just me experimenting with it and I am super impressed with it uh, I restarted Twister OS just now and PyApps came up with an option to update so I clicked on update and it actually ended up updating Wine and Box86 so uh, it is a newer version than I was using before anyway I hope all this helps thanks very much for watching please like and subscribe.